Now the last couple of videos that I've done have been about what we're told is the real world. It's about war and greed, brainwashing, that kind of thing. The things that actually we can see, feel and touch. But I still bred to believe it's like, no, no. They don't, they don't do anything at you. These people deserve to be where they are because they're better than you are and they are the ones that can teach you stuff. Now, this is completely true, but they don't actually teach us the real stuff. Goes back to the get-go. They were left with secrets and we can prove it just by looking at the buildings that they live in. Buckingham Palace is built on a major convergence of ley lines and yet, if you were to say, like, oh, yes, I'm going out and dousing for ley lines and this, that and the other, people would laugh at you. Where you find a cross of ley lines, usually there are things there that have been constructed by the church out of stone. Funnily enough. How did they know that? It's not coincident. Saying that that is coincidental is stupid. And that is why they breed us to do that. But they know... They've always known. Look at the architecture of most churches. Sacred geometry everywhere. Now, to your average layman, sacred geometry was, it still is now, something that's kept for professionals and Freemasons. But it is the basic mathematics of the entire universe, from a snail shell to a spiral galaxy. It's how it all works. And that is why they breed us incorrectly, so that we can't see that and we don't change anything. I like to talk a bit about psychics because I've been to see if I'm and I've spent an uber fortune on them in my time. My father passed away when I was eight years old and I've always been looking for him, I suppose. My best friend I met a few years ago whilst we were picking our kids up from school she just came over and started talking to me and that was the end of that. New best friend, lifetime friend. And she happens to be a gifted medium. I've probably had about £300 worth of readings off her and she's never charged me a penny. Like basically, money and us two don't mix. But the main thing that we've shared is knowledge. She has brought me on so much and she says that I've brought her on so much too because we can talk to each other about this stuff and we both understand that it is the truth because we both get the same sort of experiences. And it started off, the first reading she gave to me, she was like, oh, do you ever get a tickling on the top of your head there? Don't worry, you've not got nets. That's them just saying, woo, -woo we're here. Now, as it happens, when we sat down to do the reading yesterday, I totally started doing that, she totally started doing that. It was like, right, just really fun. It's par for the course now, you know, that that was like the very first lesson sort of thing. But over the couple of years that I've known her, she's opened my eyes to a world that I didn't even really believe existed because I have had that same education. But there are people who take their gift and use it for egotistical purposes because that's how we're bred to behave. It's got to be what's in it for me, every man for himself. I will tell you these secrets, but you've got to cross my palm with silver. And because Tina has never, ever, ever taken anything from me, except for gifts, I don't give her things when she does me a reading. I mean, it's not like, oh, I've had a reading, you have this. We always just give each other things all the time. That's how we are. So it's not about the money. And we've spent many hours talking about um, how money corrupts people and how it is such a silly, silly way to run a world. And we function quite happily without ever mentioning it to each other, without ever getting involved in the monetary side of the world. We have an absolute blast. And she has opened my eyes to truths. She's, she's not doing this for herself. She wants to help people, just like I do. And I suppose that's why we're busy mates. I've been having a bit of a tough time recently, as I've said. Coming out of it now. This particular week, I've had something happen that like has set me back a teensy bit, right? When she knows she needs to give me a reading 
Joe uh, in her like, hey Carrie Ann. I know it's Carrie Ann, not Carrie Ann, but that's what she gets in her head. So yesterday, I wasn't due to see it till next week. Yesterday she turned up with her cards. Fantastic reading. I'd spoken to my mother the night before and my mum, because my mum's got the gift as well, but my mum's very um, real worldy very institutionalised, very like, well, they tell me that this is nonsense, so I believe them, like we do. Because that's what they breed is from the age of four to do, to listen to them, no matter how insane they are sounding. But at the end of the conversation, I could tell that my mum had like kind of tranced out a bit. She was giving me this, this pep talk thing and her voice changed slightly. And I really felt like it was my dad. Anyway, yesterday, when I had the reading from Tina, and she said that my dad was there and she gave me some lovely messages from him. That we got onto the topic that I was talking to my mum about the day before and Tina said practically the same things word for word. Now this has happened on more than one occasion before. The last reading I had was from one of Tina's friends, also free. She basically said all this stuff, these messages from my dad. And then I was sat with my ex in the evening and he literally said, practically what she'd said word for word in the afternoon at night and it was like whoa I cannot advise you enough to not listen to them to listen to yourselves we are bred to dismiss things that are the truth and we are bred to believe utter bullshit and the reason that they do this is so that they can keep everything for themselves the real world isn't the real world it's a facade it's a big pile of crap that basically just keeps us in our place. We aren't meant to be this two-dimensional. We aren't meant to just get up, go to work, come home, go to sleep, repeat. It isn't what humanity was designed for. Don't disbelieve things because you're told to. Open your heart, open your mind and see the signs because there is magic in this world and I will prove it to you.